So how do you solve proportions with mixed numbers? Doesn't that make the problem that much harder? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years and I'm here to address that. When you put mixed numbers in a proportion problem, it does add a, another layer to the problem, but really not by much. What you have to keep in mind though is, if you t turn the mixed number into an improper fraction, it makes the problem actually that much easier. So here's an example. Suppose you have one and a half over 2 equal to x over 3. Now obviously you have a mixed number in the form of 1 and a half. You definitely don't want to solve it with it in mixed number form. You definitely want to turn this into an improper fraction. So as long as you remember how to do that, you'll be good to go. So remember take the denominator, multiply with the whole number, so 2 times 1 is 2, and then you add the numerator. So 1 and a half is really three halves. So you have three halves over two equals two x over three. Now, where you go from there is you actually solve it the same way like you would any proportion problem, and that is by cross multiplication. Take the two, multiply it with the x, and you will have two x. And then take the three and multiply it by the three halves. Now, three times three halves, that will give you 9 over 2 equals to 2x. Now, your objective then is to solve for x, and because the 2 is multiplied with the x, just divide both sides by 2. Now, you have x on one side, but the thing is, to figure out 9 halves divided by 2, since you're dividing by a whole number and you have a fraction on top, give this a fraction as well. So you have 9 over 2 divided by 2 over 1. So as a result, you'll have 9 halves, and remember from arithmetic rules, if you're dividing by 2 over 1, you have to multiply by the reciprocal, 1 half. So you have x is equal to whatever 9 halves times 1 half is, and you will get 9 over 4 is equal to x. And then that is your final answer. So mixed numbers and proportion problems, they do make the problem a little bit longer, but not much more difficult than that. As long as you convert it to an improper fraction, mixed numbers are just like any other problem. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that is how you solve proportion problems using mixed numbers.